Lights, camera, action. Go Gators. Go Gators. <laughs> All right, Mr. Philly, y'all. Thanks for yeah, joining thanks me. Thanks for having me. I love working with you. Get up, get up. We have so much fun. I got to tell you, this guy from... First of all, like recruiting machine over here. I'm just learning from you. I'm trying to keep up with you. Oh, well, let me tell you, we, we definitely go hand in hand. And, you know, your team has evolved so much. And your story is one of my favorite success stories to tell. Those that have been watching my interviews, you've seen this guy, you've heard about this guy. But for those of, the, of you that have not, uh, Robert Filial down in Gainesville, Florida, up, uh, from the All States, as he says. Uh, so t share with our audience a little bit. Where are all of your markets? Wow, uh, I don't know if we have that much time. <laughs> so, uh, in, in the all states, really, um, a little bit of everywhere. So, uh, 20, we're at 25 locations right now. Sure. Uh, you know, some of those are, are smaller standalones, um, single, single LO shops, but um, 25 dots on the map across 10 states, I think, is where we're sitting. Beautiful. Uh, right now, we're working on uh, hashtag Texas Takeover. So, that's a big focus for us. So if you're in it. Texas, give me a ring. Let's chat. Uh, but really, yeah, the Southeast is, is primarily our focus. So let's do a flashback, right? So if we look at when you joined Danny Mac, it was 2018? 2018, January. Okay. Yeah. Test my memory here. And then you got you were doing roughly 80 million within your branch. Yeah, we were a little bit higher. So we were about 90 million, uh, three locations in one state, 90 million. St. Augustine, Ocala, and Gainesville. Yes. Started. Yes. So, you know, Robert brought his whole crew over, operations staff, team, family, right? And and Robert came from a bank. Came from a small community bank, 26 people onboarded in a swoop. Um, we all had to get licensed. We, had, we were working out of a hotel conference room, out of the gate. And he was walking down the aisle to basically get married to another mortgage company, yes. and yes. someone came knocking on your door. Yes. And it was a, uh, I object, hold yeah, the phone. <laughs> yeah, the flag, I object to this union, and we about faced and never looked back. Mm, so best and, decision, best decision in, in a professional career that we could make. We were about to make a big mistake. Wow. And so, all right, let's talk about over the last couple years of your journey, right? We've opened up in all these different cities and states and, and now having these office locations, but it's the heartbeats inside of that, right? It's, it's the people that are going out and speaking to the referral partners that are educating their borrowers, that are moving those mountains. Um, your team has just evolved so much. So fast forward, you guys are gonna finish this year with over half a billion? Over half a billion, yeah. Uh, somewhere between half a billion and 600 million. You know, we're, we're trending uh, definitely uh, in the right direction. So that 50, I think we just did 57 million for the month. So every month we're setting at a couple, you know, two, three million a month higher and just keep trending in that direction. So, but you know what, I love what you said. It's it's tremendous growth. We've got an amazing team. Um, I love the stories inside of it though. You know, so that, that's a really cool sto story to share the big picture. But when we start getting, um, you know, on the on the micro level with some of the stories, that's where the power really comes in. And you you talk about life-changing moments, right? We were talking to mm -hmm. Bernie last night at dinner, mm -hmm. right? And uh, Bernie joined us in November of 19, and he was doing $7 million, right? Mm -hmm. And fast forward to now, he's going to be close to $20 million in production. Right? Life-changing. Life-changing. Okay. Not only, you know, monetarily, obviously, but he looked at me and he laughed and he goes, and I'm working less than ever, Bobby. Right? Like, <laughs> so almost tripled his business, oh. working less than ever. Like, and he spent time with his family. And yeah, his like, those are the cool oh, stories. That's amazing. And I love that because every person I talk to on the team, they talk about how you have stepped in and they were in a good place. They were in a, a decent place before they were able to be introduced to the process flow. And, you know, I know you credit a lot of that to Carway in the Shout freedom out Carl club. We love you, Kyle. Uh, but really, like, it's, it's game-changing moments like that where you're able to say, look, I'm going to plug you into this ecosystem. I'm going to take X, Y, and Z off your plate. This is how we're going to design it. And the formulas that you've created, I think, is the most powerful piece to an originator's lifestyle. And we're not just selling more money here. Right. It's it's actual peace in the mind. So, you know, for you, what's maybe a couple things that you've taken away, you know, just from a, a leadership perspective as you're leading these people's lives, putting roofs over their heads, making sure their kids are fed, right? But that their, their futures are secure within Animac and the Moore Mortgage Group. I love that question. You know, we talk about this all the time in our group and if any of you have heard me speak, you, you've probably heard me say this. There's a severe lack of leadership in our industry. 
Um, and not just in, hey, do this, do that, but in actual talent development systems and, and uh, planning and, hey, your business is here and you want to take it here. And there's, a, there's a severe lack of roadmap to get you from A to Z um, and reduce friction and help you you know, increase your work-life balance and build that legacy plan. Mm -hmm. um, I'm so excited we've got three originators that we've just brought on who are a little farther into their careers, right? They're literally looking five, six, seven years that they're going to be transitioning into retirement. So now it's a whole different thing because now we're talking about legacy exit planning strategy. and how do we build an exit strategy and not only the team to support you now, but to keep running while you are stepping away. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's finding solutions to that. It's digging in and, and removing friction points, right? And what we find in this industry is there's just not a lot of that. There's not a lot of people who take a proactive approach to that and sow into their originators and help them grow and say, hey, what are you looking for? What do you want your business to look like? So we're here now. Tell me what a year, three years, five years, ten years looks like. And then let's map out the plan to get there and start putting the pieces in place. That's what I love. Mm. And it's been a game changer. Oh, and it's, you know, you're... You know, you're a lot of things, right? You're a leader, you're a coach, you're a mentor, you're a teacher, you're a listener, you're a therapist sometimes. Like, you wear a lot of hats. And, you know, I think as you have been able to build your region into the number one branch at Annie Mac, like, let's think about that for a second. So, as you've taken the, that leadership role, I think a lot of originators or branch managers or area leaders fear this loss of autonomy. And they fear this loss of, am I gonna be able to control what comes in and out of my door? Who comes in and out of my door? Um, the way that my finances are set up within my branch. So from a leadership perspective, right? We talk about the word leadership so often. To you and the way that Annie Mac has provided a platform for you to stand on, almost like a franchise in a way, like, how's that transformed your lives within your family and your beautiful Lacey? Yeah, game changer. And, and it's funny that you say franchise because I use that analogy all the time. Like, if I'm I talking think I to you, you may have. So, <laughs> if I'm talking to like friends or family, and they're like, so, so like you own the company? I'm like, no, I don't own the company. But, like, well, explain it. It's a, think of a franchise. Like, that's the best way to, to um, put it out there. So, mm -hmm. it has been game changing, you know, the, just the level of autonomy. And um, I love our company just that they're all bought in. And there isn't any, you know, this is our way, this is how you have to do it. There's no rigid format. It's uh, everyone's bought in. We own being a sales organization. We don't shy away from that. We want to grow business because at the end of the day, we know that client, that referral source is best served by working with us and doing business with us in all aspects and all manners of every transaction. So we want to bring that to the table, right? So there is, there aren't really any handcuffs or restrictions. I'm able to you know, come up with a crazy idea and say, hey, Tom, I've got this idea, hear me out. And uh, hey, let's give it a shot, right? So that's been really freeing. You know, you mentioned managers and leaders wanting to just hold on so tight. I found the opposite has been really, really powerful for us. Mm -hmm. The more I've let go, the more I've empowered people and put um, them in play and stepped away from and, and really focused on what my highest and best use is, mm -hmm. the more successful we've been. It's That's really amazing. Cool. And you know, I think it's true. Like even when and I'm not a parent yet, but I believe this within parenting and within just even loving someone when you're able to let that, let them flow and be that social butterfly or have that entrepreneurship spirit and, and be that individual that they want to be. I think there's nothing more rewarding than that to see them step into that light. And, and your Gina has been doing that oh, yeah. quite a bit. Um, yeah. Gina, shout out to you, girl. Shout out, shout out. Business to development to you. manager. You want, you want to talk about a cool story? Oh yeah. Like so, Gina was a was a teacher, and then went into recruiting uh, engineers. Which I love all of our engineers out there, but maybe not always the most easy people to work with, yeah. right? Like very detailed, very very meticulous. Um, so. Our, our recruiting is a different world, right? Okay. Like with the engineers, it's just numbers. Like what, what's what's the offer? Okay. Ours is relationship. It's a hundred percent relationship. So, um, out of her comfort zone, but she blossomed. Like oh it, it's incredible. She she added two hundred and sixty. I think eight million in a year in the first year. Insane. It's nuts. And her goal this year in twenty twenty two is six. Six. Six hundred mil. Oh mil. my God, girl, you were going to smash that goal. Let's and, go. you know, the momentum's on your side. You know, God is on your side. I know you're a Christian man like Absolutely. me, a Christian woman. <laughs> and I'm so grateful to 
represent with you and share your story. So, so cheers you. to yeah, uh, listen. Set them up, we put them, put them together, and this is a great partnership. Rock and fire. That's it. We're coming for you, 2022. Texas Takeover, let's go. Woo!